welcome back in this lecture we will look at the way of comparing a variety of energy devices um in this most of the energy devices are electrochemical energy devices um and it is represented in a plot called the ragone plot so in most of the electrochemical devices um the voltage varies in time um, in a capacitor the voltage variation is a lot that is by design so even in a battery where uh, we would want to have a constant voltage uh, which doesn't vary with time there is minor variation in voltage so if you want to get an average power supplied by an electrochemical energy conversion device like let's say like a fuel cell or a battery or a capacitor you have to average it over a particular time so ragone plot is a way of comparing uh, power supplied and the energy supplied uh, by a variety of uh, energy devices so along the x axis we plot the specific power that is watt per unit mass of the device it is mass here is in kg along the y axis we specify the specific energy watt hour per kg so that is what is being specified so what are the general observations we if you look at a uh, high power devices within electrochemical devices these are typically electrochemical double layer capacitors they have high specific power but low specific energy and on the other end let's say batteries have relatively high uh, specific energy however they relatively have a uh, low specific power in comparison to the capacitors fuel cell are somewhere here um and why is there a window because there are different battery chemistries therefore the specific energy and specific power can can vary and are typically in this window uh, fuel cells are pretty much like a secondary battery um but unlike in a bat unlike a battery the fuel is constantly supplied in in the jargon of chemical engineering battery can be thought of as a batch reactor which converts the exothermic chemical energy into electrical um, energy whereas a fuel cell is a flow reactor um, which again converts an exothermic chemical energy to electrical energy so what is the challenge with respect to electrochemical um, energy conversion and storage devices the challenge is to compete with internal combustion engine so the internal combustion engine uh, has been there for a long time and is relatively inexpensive um, in terms of the resources it utilizes but it comes with the penalty of pollution but if you neglect the aspect of pollution internal combustion en engine are extremely good on both counts they have higher specific energy compared to the electrochemical uh, devices and also they have a uh, specific power comparable to electrochemical double layer capacitors so that is why competing with internal combustion engine uh, is uh, a non trivial challenge for electrochemical devices so there is another information that is indicated these lines uh what do they indicate so uh these indicate uh the time it requires to get discharged for example if you take a battery with the same specific energy with a, a particular specific energy supposing you discharge it at a higher rate okay so um that is indicated by moving along this horizontal line so if you discharge at a higher rate the time for discharge is decreased so um this is a logarithmic plot both the y and x axis so when you move at 
towards a higher discharge rate, then in this case, for example, you can discharge the battery from one hour to getting a discharge within six minutes. Likewise, if you move along the vertical line, um, you keep the specific power a constant, that is you discharge at the same um, rate, um, you um, but increase the specific energy of, a, of the battery, then the time for discharge is increased. That's what uh, is indicated by moving along a horizontal line or the vertical line. So this gives you an uh, overall idea of the pros and cons of uh, different energy devices, especially the different electrochemical energy devices that are most commonly utilized. So you're commonly looking at, uh, the, I mean, these are the things that are uh, com that have been commercialized, fuel cell, battery, and capacitors. There is another device, uh, photoelectrochemical uh, systems, that has not been extensively commercialized. Therefore, we are not presenting that in this plot. But um, aside from that f uh, fact, uh, all the relevant ener electrochemical energy devices are presented here and compared with the internal combustion engine. So in the next lecture, we will look at heat generation and efficiency of um, 